technology has come so far in the last century, from the chunky, clunky early computers and communication devices to the sleek smartphones and tablets of today. Then there's AI and the Internet of Things, fueled by increasingly powerful connectivity. Crete is getting a slice of today's technology action. With Olive's big business, the Greek island is thinking smart about how it grows them. Researchers are using sensors and the Internet of Things. Agriculture consumes 85% of Crete's fresh water supplies. The idea is to cut waste. On the ground we have installed a sensor that measures soil moisture, electric conductivity, so how, how salty, let's say, the, the water is and temperature of the soil at uh, every 15 minutes. This information from here is transmitted to a central base and then to the cloud essentially where it's processed and we can estimate the perfect amount of water that needs to be irrigated. The farmer would access the data remotely and control watering at the touch of a button. We're gonna save massive amounts of fresh water. Farmers, as also scientists and researchers, should get to know what the Internet of Things is exactly, because there's massive amounts of, of things we can do through this new tool. They can do the same thing with chemical fertilization, they can do that with pesticides, they can do that with the soil protection or with the plant protection. This all helps the environment and boosts traceability too, with consumers set to get more information on how foods are produced. There's a whopping 30 million olive trees here in Crete, some of them 500 years old. The industry dates back generations. So the question is, are olive growers ready and willing to embrace a high-tech future? This sprawling olive farm in the village of Arhanis has been in Yanis's family for three centuries. While some farmers may need convincing, Yanis is keen to embrace change. In recent years, we've been facing some difficulties with climate change. Technology always helps us and problems are solved. Technology constantly provides research. It'll help us to overcome the problems that we're facing now. Athens-based SME Future Intelligence is providing the technology for the research in Crete. Its high-tech vision for agriculture goes beyond farmers and growers. A lot of data will come from different devices of the transportation part, of the retailer, of the agri-food producer. And now imagine that artificial intelligence is the umbrella under which all this data process will be done. So this will optimize the whole value chain. Connectivity plays a crucial role in joining all this up. Howie has been in Europe for 20 years. We're working closely with small and medium enterprises, which is actually the cornerstone of the European economy. We offer our 5G connectivity in order to deploy important technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain and IoT in the context of smart agriculture. Olive growing may have stood still for generations, but now it's at the heart of innovation as Europe looks to a smarter and more sustainable future in food production.